Gen Alpha, a lost generation. Gen Alpha is addicted to skincare and we are guilty for it. We are living and growing up in a world where skincare is the most important thing. Everywhere we see recommendations, anti-aging products, makeup instructions. No wonder they are everywhere Sephora kids. But what happened? The children get uncontrolled access to skincare products or even encouraged to use them. And I can use this whenever I want. How to become a Sephora kid? I surprised my daughter by setting up a new skincare station for her room. I saw another mom's video on this and I knew my daughter would love this. Kids learn by observing and imitating the behavior which they see as normal in their environment. Things I don't understand. Sephora kits are the product of an environment that we have created by ourselves. And the only thing these Sephora kids do is to survive in this environment. In a world full of filters, skincare routines and a lot of aesthetics, kids need someone who takes responsibility for them and does not see them as little adults. This thought reminds me of the Middle Ages, when children were treated like adults. No childhood? Why we have today no children but little adults? Yes, the idea is anti -bulkel. If you think that there are similarities between today's childhood and the Middle Ages. To understand my thought, we need a definition of childhood and the need of education. Childhood in the Middle Ages were children at the age of seven acted and treated as smaller versions of the adults. Today's definition of childhood is the development stage that occurs between infancy and adolescence. The time of physical, cognitive and social growth and development. There are many models that describe the development of children, for example Ericsson and Piaget. What all models have in common is the division into developmental areas that all humans have to experience. Especially in childhood we learn the necessary experiences and skills that we will need in adult life. But what happens if we look at children as little adults and they can't develop? As in the Middle Ages, today's children are faced with the social expectations of an adult. Children are allowed to use social media and to dive into the adult world right, and that has consequences. Children should not feel the social pressure to respond to an unrealistic picture. The result will be that we have adults in the future who are overburned with the airy day life. To become a full member of society as an adult, we need a childhood to develop. A childhood where their own identity and personality can grow. That their own talents and abilities also be developed in order to find our place in their society. And for this, the children need parents and a world that is aware of their own role as an educator and model. We are all role models. If you like it or not, at this moment we are observed by children, we are role models. But social media makes it easy for us to shift the responsibility away. The internet is impersonal and the more impersonate something becomes, the easier it is to shift the responsibility. Away. We need parents, they are role models, and take the responsibility for the kids. 
The problems are coming if parents don't take the responsibilities and abuse digital media as a form of education and kids don't get space for development. Then you have Sephora kids and iPad kids who have uncontrolled access to social media. And then who has the responsibility? The content creators who put the content on the internet? Or the parents. It is the parental responsibility and it starts with the allowing to use digital media or not. Are the kids allowed to consume content unobserved or are the digital media consume controlled and explained by the parents? The children need adults who explain the world and show them the difference between the digital media and the reality. It is the responsibility of adults to teach children how to use digital media. If we judge Gen Alpha, we are judging ourselves. Gen Alpha is the product of our upbringing. We are learned by ourselves how to handle with social media. So we have to share our experience with the future generations. To pass on an adequate media outreach, it takes self-reflection. So I questioned my own media behavior and the influence on my own life. And honestly, I started as a 12 years old one with skincare. Social media was not present at this time like today, but the pressure to match a beauty ideal was already there. With 12, I was so insecure and my biggest fear was at school to being stamped. I hate myself for this thought and that I hated my own femininity. Social media helped me to get back my femininity because I saw other women that live their femininity. I am grateful to have this experience that allowed me to get rid of this negative and constricting thoughts of fear. Since I allow myself to be conscious of my femininity, I take care of myself again and celebrate my personal idea of femininity. But what can we do for the children now? Let's give them back their childhood.